Howdy, everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. The rich, full flavor of Horlicks malted milk is one that you will never grow tired of. Horlicks is always a delicious drink, always refreshing and invigorating. It's a nourishing and energy-giving drink, too. A fine food drink for both children and adults. Horlicks malted milk, you know, is rich in vitamins and minerals that help children develop healthy, sturdy bodies, sound bones and teeth. Those vitamins and minerals are carefully preserved by Horlicks' method of vacuum processing the rich, full cream milk and fine wheat and malted barley used in making Horlicks malted milk. But beware of cheap imitations of Horlicks, the original and genuine. Always ask for it by name and refuse to accept a substitute. Horlicks malted milk can be purchased in both natural and chocolate flavors. And now, let's get ready for Lum and Abner. Well, you know Lum and Abner and Grandpappy Spears have sold the Pine Ridge Oil Company's holdings to the Southwest Oil Company for $3,000 in cash and a royalty of 10 cents per barrel on all of the oil produced on the property hereafter. Well, after the deal was completed, they found that Squire Skimp is the president of the new company and that they had been tricked into selling him their interests. They also learned that the $3,000 lacked $30 of paying off all of their indebtedness. And as we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Lum just entering Abner's house upon his return from the county seat to settle off all their bills. Listen. Well, come in, Lum, come in. Did you just get back? Yeah, let me get here to the fire. I'm about half free. Yeah, it's cold, yeah. It's cold out today, especially riding in that open car with the mail carrier. I don't see why he don't get himself a suit in. Uh, did you get the check cashed all right? Yeah, yeah. Deposited in there at the bank. Opened up an account and sat right down there and mailed everybody we owed a check. That's what's taking me so long. Yeah, well, fine, fine. Well, we don't owe a soul now. No. Ever since we get out of the royalties on the oil now, it'll be velvet. Yeah. Uh-huh. See what? Velvet. Uh, clear profit. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a relief to get everybody all paid. Yeah, there was a fellow over here looking for you about an hour ago, but he weren't looking for you. He was looking for me, but he weren't looking for me. Yeah, he, he thought he was, but he wasn't. He was looking for the head of the oil company. He, he never knowed we'd sold out. Hmm. More likely some big oil man wanting to buy some oil. Well, he's just wasting his time. I'll tell him that. Squire Skimp's done sold all that oil we had in them barrels over there. Well, he weren't in the oil business. He said he was with the Southern Pipeline Company, whatever that is. Yeah, well, that's the oil business, too. I reckon he's wanting to see us about putting a pipeline into this well out here. Now, yeah, what would he want to put a pipeline in there for? Having their pipelines is what they use to get the oil from the well to the refineries with. Uh, what's a refiner? Well, they've got to run it through the refinery before they can sell it. Oh, oh. See, there ain't a railroad out here. They can haul it over, so they run a pipe under the ground from the well to the refinery and just pump it through there. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. I reckon who started that out? Well, they've been doing that for years. Uh-huh. Yeah, they've got pipelines running all over the country. Well. I reckon that's what they thought I want to see me about. Get me to let them run a pipeline from here to the refinery and sell them our oil. Yeah, well, he never said, and I never asked him, I... Busy popping some popcorn here in the fireplace at the time and had to get back to it before it burnt. I just told him that we weren't in oil business no more. Squire Skimp was the man he wanted to see and just shut the door in his face. Well, I'm sorry I missed him. I'd love to talk with him, yeah. give him my views on the oil business. You say you was uh, popping some popcorn? Yeah, yeah, here, here, help yourself. No, 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 I wouldn't care for none of it. Oh, go ahead, help yourself. I've had all I can hold. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't much of a hand for popcorn. Might try a sprinkling of it. That is, if you had all you want. Yeah, sure. Help yourself. <laughs> I just got so hungry sitting around here today, I had to fix up something to eat. <laughs> well, sir, it's right funny about folks' taste. Some folks likes one thing and some like something else. Yeah. Me, I never cared for popcorn. Just weren't turned that way. Uh, Lom, I just wondering. I uh, uh, reckon, uh, could, could you sort of, sort of, uh, spare me a... <laughs> A quarter? Quarter? Yeah, two bits, yeah. I just about run out of something to cook up over here, and I, I thought if you could uh, sort of lend me a quarter, well, I, I, 
I just go over to Sister Simpson and <laughs> eat supper over there tonight. <laughs> well, I do know. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> well, it's it, it just sort of funny, that's all. It, funny? It, yeah, that's what I come by here for, to see if you had any change on you. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I... Ain't got a nickel. I'll yeah. <laughs> give you the last cent I had when I paid you that $10 yesterday. Take care of what we owed on the wall well. Well, I never had the $10 myself. I had to take some chickens and eggs into the county seat this morning and sell them to raise my part of it. Well, now, that's a fine how to do, ain't it? Two richest men in Pine Ridge ain't got enough money to eat on. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry. When them royalties starts coming in off of that oil, well, we'll have more money than we know what to do with yeah, but what we going to do till we get that? I'm hungry. Well, what about me? I ain't even had no dinner. I was in there at the county seat and never even had enough to go buy a bowl of soup with. Well. Hand me that bowl of popcorn there again. <laughs> Ordinary, I don't care for this stuff, but I see right now I better can get hungry enough to eat anything. <laughs> Ain't no good when we do get that money. I'm just going to go someplace and buy me a restaurant and sit down right there at the counter and eat the thing up. Yeah, I seen a fella in there at the county seat standing right smack in the window cooking pancakes this morning. Yeah, I saw him. Flipping them way up in the air and all that stuff. Yeah. Just showing off. I grant he's like a div right through that plate glass window and fit him for a stack of them. They ought to let them cook stuff in the windows that way. We folks is hungry and watch them. It's cruel. Well, you didn't have to stand there. <laughs> you could have walked off. If ever I own a restaurant, I'm going to paint the windows black. Ain't no use to make nobody suffer that way. And I wish we'd quit talking about eating. I'd love to get my mind off of it if I can. I was just thinking, Abner, Squire Skimp sold that oil over there, you see. We might could go over there and get him to pay us a royalties on it this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, Squire will do it. He'd about like him to refuse to let us have it. There ain't no reason why he oughtn't to. He'll have to pay us anyway the first of the month. But if he knowed we wanted it, he more than likely wouldn't let us have it. No, oh, that dad blamed old skin flint be just, just do him good to see me and you go hungry. Still, if he never knowed we was needing it so bad, why, well, he might let us have it. I don't know. I don't believe we can count on getting it there. I don't want to ask no favors off of Squire Skin. I don't want to get mixed up with him no more than I have to. Money he's owing us, too. Why, sure, it's our money. And here he is refusing to let us have it. Why, the dead I brain... hate him to peace. That's friendship for you. As long as we've known him, supposed to be friends, and then refusing to pay us when we got what we got coming to us. I'm just a good uh, wait, minister. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Long. Yonder he comes right now. Look out the window there. Yeah. <laughs> Swan, he's got a lot of nerve coming over here after pulling a stunt like that. I right, grannies, I'm going to tell him about it, too. I'm going to jump him the minute he comes in that door, and if I don't well, tell wait, him... Well, wait, wait, him now. We ain't even asked him for it yet. No, that's what I say. The very idea of him refusing to let us have it when we ain't even asked... Huh? I say we ain't even asked him to let us have it yet. Oh, that's right, man. Well, he... Huh? Nothing. Just, just let it go. We just act like nothing ain't happened. Treat him just like we're as good a friends as ever. Don't let him know we're mad. No, no, no. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I, I don't know yet what we're so mad about. Well, you don't aim to sit back and let him... Tre- ah, that's right. Yeah. Just let it go. Best thing to do is forget it. Forgive and forget. Or forget anyway. Yeah. Uh, there he is. There he is. Come in, Squire. Come in. Well, howdy, Squire. Well, uh, how are you gentlemen today? Well, all right now. Yeah, it's a good thing you never got your head of yourself, Squire. Long or just about Shut it. Shut up, Abby. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, I might as well get right down to business. Uh, I'm kind of a hurry. I've been hearing a little talk around that you gentlemen ain't altogether satisfied with the deal we made the other day. Well, we ain't tickled to death over it. No. In the first place, we never knowed you was the one that was buying it, or we wouldn't have sold it to you. In the second place, we never got enough cash out of it to pay off all we owed for drilling the well and building that office. And in the third place, we're both broke and ain't got nothing to eat on. Well, now, I heard that you dissatisfied with the deal, and that's what I come over to see you about. You know, we've all been friends for so long, and I don't want it said that Squire Skimp would take advantage of nobody. Well, I reckon it's too late now, Squire. The deal's done closed. The fact is, we've done cashed the check you give us and spent the money. Well, now, that's all right about that now. If you fellas had to all well, why, well, it wouldn't take you very long to pay me that money back, tell you. T- tell you what I- I'm willing to do, men. Just to show you that I want to do the right thing. If you give me back that agreement that I signed where I agreed to assume any obligations of the company, I'll give you the well and the property back and give you a little time on paying me back the $3,000. Well, 
You, you mean just swap back with it? Well, yes, yes. I'm losing heavy by doing it, but uh, I'd rather have it that way than to have you gentlemen think for one minute that Squire Skimp ain't a true and loyal friend. Well, I'll swan to goodness. Yeah, I will, too. I'll have to admit I had you figured out all wrong, Squire. All right, uh, that's the nicest thing I ever had anybody over to do for me. And that's true friendship if ever I've seen it. Yeah, if you hear anything I said about you, Squire, well, I never said it. Or I never meant it. Yeah, that's the generous thing I ever heard of. Yes, it is. But we couldn't do it, Squire. I just couldn't bear to let you make that sacrifice. We made the deal, and if we got skinned, it was our own fault. Now, now we just couldn't let you do that. Well, now, man, I insist on it. I, I want to do that for you. I just wouldn't feel right if I never. Now, just give me back that agreement that I signed, and, uh, well, you won't even have to pay me the $3,000 back. No, Squire, that's nice of you, though, but we just wouldn't feel right yeah, about it. Somebody at the door there. Come in. Well, hello, Dave. Hey, did you fellas hear about Squire? Oh, uh, hello, Squire. I didn't see you. Uh, mighty sorry to hear about the hard luck you had. Hard luck? What happened, Dave? Why, hasn't Squire told you about it yet? <clears throat> Why, uh, uh, no, I uh, haven't got around to it yet, Dick, no. Yeah, what's the matter? What you talking about? Why, there was a fellow come in here today from the Southern Pipeline Company. They found out that that isn't an oil well over there. You fellas drilled into one of their pipelines. Huh? Why, that oil that's been coming out of there. You drilled a hole right into their pipeline that runs through here. That oil's running out of the pipeline. You didn't any more have an oil well over there than nothing. Well, I'll be dead and brain. <laughs> Well, no wonder Squire Skimp was so anxious to get back that agreement he signed, assuming all responsibilities of the previous owners of the oil well. Mothers everywhere are enthusiastically praising Horlick's malted milk tablets. These nourishing, energy-giving tablets are an excellent means of helping children ward off fatigue and hunger when playing or at school. The delicious, candy-like flavor is one that children love, and they will gladly take a supply of tablets to school with them. Horlick's malted milk tablets can be easily carried in a coat pocket or purse. And that's why they are such handy things to take along on shopping expeditions, on motor and hunting trips. A few tablets dissolved in the mouth when you begin to feel tired or hungry will pep you up, satisfy your hunger. When you're at your work, Horlick's tablets will keep you going at top speed on days when you can't get out to eat on time. Horlick's malted milk tablets can be purchased in both natural or chocolate flavors. They come in handy pocket-sized flasks for 10 cents, which can be readily refilled from the larger sizes. This is Carlton Brickert speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlick, who bid you all good night and good health. <laughs>